afternoon. I'm Dr. Jean Gounard and I'm pleased to uh, greet all of you here today on the occasion of our sixth annual flag raising ceremony, which is uh, also kicking off uh, a series of peace driven uh, efforts on and off campus, and of course, culminating with our sixth annual peace conference that will take place on United Nations Day. Uh, that is October 24th. Um, the theme for the, this year's conference is promote peace, reduce poverty, but also in order to make sure that the whole world through the symbolic flag of the United Nations, the whole world is honored and recognized, we have this flag raising ceremony uh, honoring not only the U.S. flag and the state of uh, New York flag, but also the United, the, uh, United Nations flag. Uh, as you know, the United Nations was created, was set up uh, 62 years ago. Since then, the world has changed tremendously. We have today 191 countries, whereas 62 years ago, there were barely 80 countries. The world has changed. The world is evolving. But today, Buffalo State also is evolving and changing. And I want to thank you, all of you, for being here. It is with um, great pride and pleasure that I get to introduce Eric Monte, who I had the pleasure of meeting on one of the most profound ways that people meet each other now on the internet. <laughs> he was part of a group of individuals who have been communicating on African American history and culture and the problems facing black America on a website and a listserv that was created by a Buffalo State graduate, Collis Muhammad, who was the president of the African American Student Association for two years, and it was called Love for Self. And Eric Monte really personified that. And my getting to know him, and I got to know him better as he um, came to Buffalo and we had a few days to talk and for me to discover who he was as a person, I realized that this is a distinctly unique human being here was a man who told me he didn't complete high school, who went to Hollywood with $5 in his pocket and stories that he had in his head that he put down on paper and changed the course of television. So I'm gonna read you a little bit about Eric Monte. Eric Monte is his own kind of black history icon. As a television and film writer, he brought the Jeffersons, Good Times, and the classic Cooley High to life. Monte created some of the most enduring black characters in television and film, for better or worse. He may have introduced white America to its first three-dimensional black friends. In fact, Eric Monte refused to sell his soul or to sell out black people and said he created black heroes for America to love. Eric Monte went on to publish a book called Blueprint for Peace, and that's why he's here today. In his book, which is self-published, he wrote that peace could be achieved if humanity followed seven basic principles. I'm not gonna say what those principles are because he's going to tell us in his presentation, but I found his ideas to be quite like the stories that he tells and it's made him famous, really groundbreaking and cutting edge. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome Eric Monte to the stage. Wow, I am thrilled to be here. 
I want to tell you the truth, okay? This is a dream of mine. I want, my ideal when I wrote this book was that we are the first generation in the history of the species that can end war forever. We can eliminate taxes completely. We can do reduce crime by 70%. And we can stop the starvation on this planet. And all we've got to do is change a few little things. OK? I'm not going to tell you about my book, because when I tell people about it, they argue with me because the ideals in the book are so unique that people don't under comprehend it. It's like I was Galileo, and I was the first man that said the Earth went around the sun instead of the sun going around the Earth. Everybody thought he was crazy. They put him in jail for several years, OK? I come to you with the same kind of breathtaking new concept in the history of the species. So I'm not going to tell you about my book, because you will argue against it. <laughs>